Hi everyone! So today I have some items to share with you that Diamond Press has brought to their own site. That would be mydiamondpress.com um, tools, basically. So I want to show you some glues, some new stencil packs, and then they also brought their felt tote. If you guys remember that when they had a today special a little while back, they had a gray, or I think, or a teal tote. I want to say that you could have picked up on HSN, but now they have some on their site and it includes. Uh, a few more colors so really pretty so I'll look at these things first and then I'll bring out the tote to show you mine and how I've been using it and then talk about the colors and things uh, with dime press I will link the items in the description box I actually have an affiliate discount code with them so if you type in the code VCDP10 so VCDP10 like the numeral 1010 um, you'll get 10% off of your purchase and um, you can just type that in at the end and that is an affiliate discount code meaning I'll make a small commission when you use that code and you get 10% off um, yeah so they have the totes at a special price we'll talk about that in just a minute uh, these are uh, refills or if you haven't tried their glue they have uh, new bundles there and again I have these stencils so let's look at the glue first now I'm going to say when I first saw the site a couple days ago and they brought some new items on I want to say this glue bottle was there but I didn't see it right now so I will follow up with them and make sure so this is just a refill empty fine tip glue bottle so I mean you can put any glue in here right um, but what's so nice about these and I have reviewed them in the past so if I forget to say anything you might want to check out that video it might be more thorough since I was focusing just on the glues at that point but um, really cute so you have your lid it says fine on there it has that little diamond it might be hard to see but in real life it says fine it's like um, embossed on there I don't know um, you have this pin that goes into your fine tip and that's what keeps it from clogging and again it just goes up and down okay so when you're opening it you don't have to unscrew it like this or anything you just pull it up and pull it down and obviously it has little spaces where it kind of clicks in um, so there's that but you can open it up to fill it with whatever it is that you would like to fill it with okay so um, they do have refills of course you want to use their glue but it can accommodate Pretty much any glue so there's just an empty bottle by itself guys um the refill so let's say you have some bottles maybe you picked them up before uh, when they had them on hsn which i believe they still have a couple of bundles left because i feel like when i was on there recently it said like 13 left so um i can link the hsn one also but this is on my diamond press we have the large bottle and I do want to say and don't forget uh, I know a lot of people really love their stamp cleaner when it came out with the stamp accessory kit they have refills for this and this stuff is really good so um, if you already have it or if you have another little bottle you want to put that in they do have refill for the stamp cleaner on the site and it is twice as much as this so I think it's 100 milliliters and this one's 50 okay um, your glue and I love that it already has a tip the way it does because you can just get it from right in there into your bottle if you would like. Um, I'll show you in the other ones for right now. I'm going to keep this just the way it is. So just a bottle of glue. Um, it's their premium art and craft glue. And again, it says refill bottle. It is ready to go. I suppose you can just use it from here also. But um, the tip is a good size. I mean, you're going to get a lot of glue coming out if you just try to use it that way. But, you know, I can kind of show you on a scrap of something. Let's find a scrap. Uh, no. As you know, use a white scrap, then I thought it might be hard to see white on white, but there you go. So that'll show you kind of how big that is if you're using it there. But that might be good for a project where you have something bulky, right, to put down. You can get a lot of glue out at once. So either way, if you were to have that, like I said, I'm going to use the other one. You can pick them up separately, or if you just want the fine bottle, since you have a regular or however, and just squeeze it in there, right? Very easy. This is eight ounces. And this refill will hold, I believe, two? Yeah, two ounces. So again, why this is separate, it's special because it's the fine tip. Okay. So then we have bundles like this here. Um, this one's the fine tip glue set, and this one's the regular tip. So you will see under adhesives or you know, the link I'll put to just go to the glues that you can buy a bundle that has the bottle plus the uh, empty bottle, of course, with a different tip. Let me open both of these. I'll be right back. So let me put this one to the side. This is the regular tip, and this is our fine tip set. So it looks something like this. Has some info for you. 
uh, keep cap pin free of glue buildup. Of course, if you know as you're using it, you might get some glue on the very tip. Just wipe it away before you put it away for your storage. You know, if take tip gets clogged, remove from bottle and soak in warm water to dissolve blockage. Um, after each use, clean all tips with warm water before storing. Um, all these things and. I don't normally do that, but if you're having any issues, you probably want to go ahead and follow what it says there. Um, for gluing small pieces, try reverse craft trees. There's all those kind of tips just um, as you're you know working with glues. That's what they have there for you. And oh, look at the way it's packaged. <laughs> that is so nice. Um, so we have our fine tip glue and the fine tip head. And it's already filled. So in this one, you're essentially getting 10 ounces of glue. So you have the 8 ounce full bottle here. And then you have the two ounces uh, with the fine tip head, right? So it comes with this guy. So with this simply, I love the way this, the shape is cut out. They're really nice feel on that. Um, you're just going to remove that. And of course, when you go to refill it, you'll refill it later. You can either hold on to this. You can toss it. I would take that little styrofoam piece out in case if you want it for some other purpose later. But um, essentially you just glue this glue no you don't glue it on you screw that excuse on. me i said you have to glue it on no we're not gluing it on we're just screwing that on <laughs> and there you go and again this is the uh fine tip i can bring that sample back that was just coming out of the glue bottle and then the fine tip you know i suppose it depends on how much you push also so i'm just giving a squeeze i mean if you really squeeze you probably get more out at once and then again when you go to put it away let's say you have a little glue like that on the top um, I would just wipe it away with, you know, paper towel or whatever and put it away, okay? So I'm just wiping that away. And you put your cap back on, and that's it, okay? So I'm going to put that one to the side. And let's check out this guy, which is the regular tip. And then I'll compare them both for you. Oh, <laughs> I opened this one upside down. That's what happened. I was like, oh, it looks different. <laughs> I opened it from the other end. And again, comes with the same items there. Presented really cute here. And then we have the, again, um, it all has the same glue in it, guys. But this one also says regular tip on it. And this one says fine tip. So you can see it clearly there, but you can also see it in real life <laughs> on the lid. Um, so on this one here, it just says regular. I know it might be hard to see. I know it's very hard to see. It says regular there. Uh, I can't get the quite the right angle to show you that, but um, it does say it there. I think every other one, yeah, every other little side says it. And again, this one has your um, regular tip, which is a little bit thicker barrel there. So for this one, same thing, you get your eight ounces of glue in here, the two ounces that are in the bottle. And we just take the lid off and pop this one on again screw it on i'm gonna put that to the side well, let's get that threaded right there we go okay and the regular oopsie tip looks something like that so it definitely is a thicker line or bead of glue there you go and again you need to clean that off but let me show you what this one looks like so this is the fine on this side and this is the regular you can see that they are different sizes and we'll dispense different glue let's put the same lid fine I'm fine and that is their glue um, if I recall, it gives you a little bit of drying time, but it doesn't take too long to dry, which is really nice. And um, of course, they're super cute. <laughs> and it's a very clearish kind of milky white glue, and it dries not shiny. <laughs> so um, it's a really, really great glue. So there you go. And um, again, just in the different iterations that they're going to have there, or they do have there already on the site. And I know lots of you guys have already given me lots of feedback on the glue, so let us know here what you think and help people out to know, you know, everyday usage, what, what you're thinking about it. Um, and these are the stencils. Now, with Dime Press, they make oversized stencils. Um, you know, the stencil itself, I like to run these through um, larger die cutting machines, so it gives you an embossed look, and you can definitely do that with the rubber mat that your die cutting machine comes with if you have a larger one. So this is six inches by um, nine and a quarter, and then it generally has an area of about five, five and a half inches that you can actually stencil 
to about eight and three quarters or so. Um, it just depends on the edges and the design, right? Sometimes the designs are real different. These are basically full size, you know, um, stencils. So this one's called Distressed, and I think they're in sets of six. And I believe they have them right now since I was looking at the site and making sure. Actually, I yeah, so I was just looking at the site just to make sure, you know, all these different items were available. Um, I believe they're $10. And then again, you get your 10% off if you use my code. So this is Distressed Lace. I'm going to go through them. I might make something at the end of the video with a little music over it. Um, just because there are a lot to go through. And then we'll definitely use them in videos coming up. So really pretty. Look how cute that is. Distressed Lace. This one is Distress Stripe. Really cool. Love the way that one looks. I imagine you can do it this way and then this way and it gives you like a crisscross kind of pattern, you know? Like a plaid but kind of funky. Uh, honeycomb. Really cute. I love the little full size ones mixed in here and there. Or like filled in ones. Brush Stroke. Oh my gosh, how cute would this be to isolate? Just like one of them, you know, put a little tape or something and then do your stamp, I mean, stamp, you know, your sentiment on that. So it looks like a little stroke and then your sentiment stamped on. And there's different sizes, so that'd be really cute. Fun way to use that one. Um, let's see here. Okay. Distressed dot. Nice size dots. It's about the size of my finger. Really cute with the rough edges. And then distressed trellis, which is just a beautiful kind of design. I love this kind of design. So cute. So that's it, the Distressed set. This one's called Nature. And so, I have these upside down. Yeah, so vines. Really cute. I love the little sprigs here. And then there's like a vine in between. So it's like a vining sprig. We can kind of see that with my hand. Uh, the butterfly silhouette. That is so pretty. Again, you can, you know individualize these little guys if you have smaller um, tools you know with this die press I know they have their pouncing set if you have some of those or like their dob um, daubers I guess is what they're called uh, or just a finger dauber and you can just add a little butterfly here and there in your project leaf toss how cute is that <laughs> what a fun name we just throw leaves up in the air very cute floral swirl really nice big pattern this would be really nice to, st to um like use paste with also so it's just like a big focal pattern look at this one blossom those are so pretty it gives me hawaii feels for whatever reason like just because the way they're kind of like dancing around the flowers that is so pretty and then leaf burst so this one kind of has a central point it kind of is radiating out but you can use that in any area of course and that again was nature organic pattern I remember when Miranda was little, she'd say patterin. It's a patterin. Okay, abstract floral. It might have been Dorian. You know, when you have, I have three kids and then I start mixing their stories together. <laughs> abstract floral. Cute. I love, it's kind of like a daisy, but it's kind of, like it says, abstract. Really cool. Firework. This one's cool. Look at that. It definitely looks like fireworks. It's just kind of like fun, you know what I'm saying? Like with the movement. That's really cool. Geometric shapes. This one gives me like a feel of like those things we see in the 90s where it had like characters. I don't know how to explain it. Where they were like blocky. Kind of like this kind of feel. Um, maybe they were like posters. I can't remember. Swirl. Just like little swirls. Little uh, doodle zigzag. Kind of. I don't even zigzag. But just like, yeah, little squiggles. That's the word I'm looking for. Swirl. Abstract splotch. Well, this is really cool for like a tribal look, I think. Abstract splotch. And then organic spot. Look at this one. So cool. There's not really like a center and you know what I'm saying? Even though like it might look like it's radiating from here, but then kind of here and then like here. <laughs> that's really cool. That's really different. I haven't seen anything like that. And that's organic pattern. Stencil heart. Of course, we love our stencils with hearts. So we have mini heart toss. I love that <laughs> toss. I think it's so cute. It's like they're up in the air. Look how small they are. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, that'd be really fun to glimmer. Or, you know, not glimmer. What's the word? <laughs> to, well, yeah, I guess. To use like a shimmer paste. Um, heart toss. I love that. So cute. So this one has larger and medium size and smaller and smaller hearts all over. Um, this one is heart line. That's so cute. And it's kind of like undulating. I don't know if you see that. Cause it has a lot of movement. It's not just straight across the little hearts and the dots. 
heart swirl. Oh my gosh, this looks like a calligraphy pen. And I love calligraphy or like playing with fountain pens and like that. That's what it looks like. Or like a brush stroke pen, you know? That's what it reminds me of. That's so pretty. Heart diamond pattern. How cute is that? The way the hearts are facing each other. I mean, I'm seeing it like a square like this facing each other. Maybe it can be out like this though, huh? Where the hearts are facing out. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. And heart lattice. Just adorable. Beautiful pattern. This will be really fun to um, use as embossing, I think. Well, all those. I love hearts. So stencil hearts. And stencil dots. So it's going to be lots of dots, guys, in lots of different ways. So let's see how many ways you can create patterns with dots. Radial circle. Very cool. I love that it's not just all the same size going out. It's like these larger and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller on the way out. That's really cool. Large dot. <laughs> or large dot. Sorry. I heard some kind of... Something going off here in the house. Okay, large dot. And then doodle dot. Very cute. Again, very organic. They're just really fun, different dots, but like in... Not perfectly circular. Small dot. This one's very geometric, and it just kind of goes across, to, you know? Very cool. And then we have rings. And really cool. Again, geometric in my opinion here. And then it just has like the spaces, so when you stencil it, you're going to see that and that, right? You're going to see the circle and like that little kind of diamond shape. And then pixel dot. Look at this one. Just kind of random. Pixel. I don't know. Something about it reminds me of like computerized. And just small dots, medium-sized dots, larger dots, and they're just super random. But at the same time, geometric. That's really cool. So those are stencil uh, dots. Stripes. Let's check these guys out. And we have gradient stripe. I'm going to put this down because this one has a different feel to it because it is very delicate here. So we have gradient stripe. And look at that. Really cool. The way it starts off so thin and then to this larger area. Wavy stripe. <laughs> very, very cool. These are really fun. Um, small stripe. Oh, this is very, like, tied up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> very neat. Small stripe. All across there. Variegated stripe. And I want to see, as I bring these up, look how you compare these two together if you stencil them. That'd be a really cool pattern. But anyhow, we have variegated stripe. And again, using this, let's say you do some, you know, stenciling and then just turn it over and go this way and you're also going to have like a crisscross pattern. So in some areas it's going to have double the, the amount of color, you know, in some areas not because the way they block each other out. So variegated stripe, really fun way to use that. Diagonal stripe and that one is, this one has wider um, spacing from the one that we just used or saw. Again, you can pair that up, flip it over, pair them together, that'd be really fun. Candy stripe, look how cool this one is. Oh my gosh. I love that. So again, what you're seeing is what you're not going to see. So you're going to have these little bits here and then stripes along with them. And that is the stripes set. Geometric. Let's check this guy out. Oh, the sunburst type of thing. We love that. Really nice big circle. That big circle is like three and a half inches focal point there. And then it radiates out from there. You have your burst. Um, and I guess I didn't mention, since we've been using diamond press stencils for a while, I forget to talk about the material. It's a really nice, sturdy material. I mean, this is what you want your stencil made out of, definitely. So, really, really good stuff. Uh, diamond. As you can see, that little geometric kind of 3D diamond. Actually, I'm looking at a box when I see that, right? This little shape. But, um, you know, it could be like the... It, Whatever it is that you're seeing. <laughs> no, I just play tricks on us sometimes. Abstract lines. This one's super cool. Look how delicate that is. But again, very stencilable. It's not the kind of thing that's going to like gouge or anything like that as you're using it. That's really pretty. Really cool. Mosaic triangle. Excuse me. Um, and I'm seeing the triangles like this way. But I suppose I can go this way and this way this way. Do you see that? That's how I'm seeing it. Oval lattice. How cool is that? Really interesting shape. It almost looks like little petals. Or leaves, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Cute. And then trellis. We love a good trellis stencil. There you go. That's really nice for all kinds of floral backgrounds. And then geometric is that that one was. And let's look at the stencil stars. I think this one kind of tore there on the side. 
So let's check these guys out. A starry sky. How cute and scattered. That is really lovely. Oh my gosh. Can you, you know, make your own background with like blue or black inks and then just come in with some uh, shimmer paste or something cute with these guys. It'll look really lovely. Star trail. Again, like I said, sometimes the full pattern. This one obviously has this area here, but so that it looks like a trail. And if you're filling in the whole thing, you're going to get that same look on your project. I love the little guys there. How cute is that? Uh, star wave. So kind of like the pattern we saw earlier where it's kind of undulating, but this one has stars here and there. That's really cute. Star variety. And it is a variety of stars. Look at the shape of this guy or like that guy, more like quasar looking regular stars. That's really cool. Really fun, festive on that one. Stars. And it's more geometric, the way they're laid out. Of course you can use your stencils this way, this way, and you know, whatever, turn it over if you need. They're pretty much um, going to be the same front or back, you know, whichever side you like to use uh, the stars there. And simple stars. That is so weird too. So it looks like it's some undulating pattern like this, but basically this is what you're going to get on your project, right? These areas. So it's very straight and just simple stars. All right, guys. And that was the star bundle. What I'm going to do is grab my uh, tote and we'll talk about that. Okay, guys, so here is my tote, and you know I keep it real here. This is exactly how I have it next to me right here. I keep it on the floor right here near my table, of course, and, um, you know, I pop in some stencils in here. These guys probably need to go in the packaging, but I usually just keep them in here because there's so much space in this tote, you can do whatever you want. Um, I did a whole unboxing of it, so if you want to see um, from beginning to end, uh, I believe I unboxed it whenever I had shown the Today Special, so I'll try to remember to link that video. But, um, I mean, this is it, you guys. This is how I keep it. Um, there's some inks in here. I have my spatulas. I have some of the things that belong to the Today Special in here. My daubers. Uh, my foil. I mean, it has tons of pockets. This part here is an insert that you can either use or not use, but it's better to have it in there because it helps you, you know, arrange items. I have inks in there. I have some of my little um, bottles, you know, I'll probably place these down in here, texture paste, glitter paste, um, all kinds of different things. Uh, you know, I have the abstract kind of alcohol ink kit in here. It just holds a ton of stuff, and I know you can't see it all in this uh, video here, or at this angle. Um, I believe they have it now in like a purple, like a fuchsia color, the teal might have sold out, a light gray, a dark gray. Did I already say purple? <laughs> a blue, um, like a true, true blue. Um, you know, I just keep the things that I like to always have a fine liner pen with me because whenever if I stamp and something doesn't quite stamp all the way, you can finish it off with your fine liners. Um, you know, brushes, so there's two pockets there. Uh, let's see what else we can find over here. Um, I have a stapler in here. I have two pockets over here. And again, this is great for every day for whatever else that you like to obviously Sorry, everyone's starting to wake up, so I hear people waking up. <laughs> okay, so on this side, you have an area where you can put pens or whatever it is you want to put in here. If you want to put some brushes or, you know, quilling tools. I mean, I can just grab something. You have a stencil. Not a stencil. What am I talking about? A stylus. You can put that in there. It has uh, spaces for those things. Just pens if you like journaling. Um, just a lot of uses for this guy. And on this side, um, it has these little pockets here that I haven't even gotten into and I have tons of things in this. Uh, that's on that side. Three pockets on the opposite side. Did we really look at this one? No. This is just another pocket here that can is more of a pocket pocket where the other one had like the space for your um, longer items or like oh my gosh even like knitting or crochet tools would fit in over there really nice in your yarn and stuff. I mean this can be used for lots of different purposes. And here I have more of my stenciling daubers and things like that, because that's what I chose to put in there. But it's a good size pocket. It goes all the way down the side of the uh, tote. And I know right now they put a special pricing of $15 on the totes. So if you use the 10% off, it's roughly $13.50. And I'm just mentioning that because I know that right now as I'm filming the video. So um, some info for you guys. So, um, lots of new tools. Um, oh, they also have, I do want to mention, I don't have it here to show you guys, um, some glue uh, folder, like pages. It's basically micro dots of glue on two sheets of um, carrier that aren't going to stick to each other, right? So you open it up, let's say you have a fine die cut, and you place it in there, close it back up, you can just kind of 
go over it. It gives you instruction there on um, how to use those um, glue pages. Open it back up, and then the glue will be just on the um, backside of your, you know, project and you just use it and um, it was very easy to use so you might have seen something similar to that um, previously so they have some of those on their site now also I'll go ahead and link those in the description box too so what I'm going to do is just have a little fun with some of the stencils here just some music and stenciling and thank you so much for watching thank you so much Diane Press for saying these items for review I'll have images of whatever I create here and um, the links will be in the description box again the code VCDP10 VCDP10 for 10% off of your purchase there on mydiamondpress.com okay not HSN mydiamondpress.com all right guys I'll see you at the next one bye now